You're watching NASA TV. Good evening from Mission Control in Houston and the International Space Station Flight Control Room, where at this hour, flight controllers working in concert with Russian counterparts at the Russian Mission Control Center in the outskirts of Moscow in the town of Koryov are preparing to support uh, Russian spacewalk number 56. This is the third time the spacewalk uh, has uh, been scheduled having been uh, scrubbed two previous times because of issues that we'll discuss in a moment. But the uh, subject of attention at this hour is what you're looking at right there. That's the Poisk module on the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station, in which ISS Commander Sergei Prokopiev and Flight Engineer Dmitry Patelin are suited up in their Orlon spacesuits, having depressurized the airlock, ready to begin a planned six-hour, 37-minute spacewalk to begin outfitting the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module on the opposite side of the Russian segment on the Earth. Russian Spacewalk 56 will be conducted by Sergei Prokopiev, EV-1 in the red stripes, and Dmitry Patelin, EV-2 in the blue stripes. Anna Kakina will assist as SUDIV and European Robotic Arm ERA, operator. To start the spacewalk, crew will egress the Poisk airlock with a tool carrier, crew lock bag, and an adapter to assist with ERA operations. After securing the adapter on the Strela 1 translation ring, crew will translate to the forward side of the Poisk module. Here, they will retrieve the ERA adapter. Sergey and Dmitri will move along the Strela 2 boom and continue nadir to the Rossiet module. Dmitri will temporarily stow the ERA adapter on a nearby handrail. Crew will move further nadir to the radiator worksite, where they'll first work to disconnect a radiator cable, cap it, and set it aside. Nearby, the two will remove a protective cover from the radiator, close the fluid connectors, then remove the protective cover. Each crew member will open a Nader radiator launch lock, then translate Zenith to release two more launch locks. While the ERA grapples onto the radiator, Dmitri and Sergei will monitor the robotic motion. Once motion is complete, they'll close MLI flaps over the launch locks. The team will retrieve the previously stowed ERA adapter and install it on the Strela adapter. Sergei removes the protective cover and further configures the ERA adapter booms. Both crew will begin a long translation zenith to the Zarya module. Translate aft along Strela 2 to Poisk, then continue on to Strela 1, down to the Nauka module, where they'll arrive at the next work site. Dmitri and Sergei will work together to make three connections on a cable, inspect screws, and remove a protective cover from the interface. Crew will move to a monitoring position and provide a go to Anna to maneuver the radiator in for mating to the Neuka module. After mating the radiator, both crew will perform final mechanical, hydraulic, and electrical connections. From there, they'll translate back up Strela 1 to the Poisk airlock. Sergei will secure a jettison bundle to Strela 1, 
and after performing a tool inventory, Sergei and Dmitri will ingress the airlock and close the hatch. Ending Russian Spacewalk. Switch ISTR. Will do. Принято. Uh, done for both. Copy. And I am egressing. Copy. Dmitry, go ahead. And I am moving uh, straight to the right of the hatch. Copy. And I'm going to be dragging the uh, tool carrier KPU with me. Uh, it's go it's, I hope it's not going to be in the way when you are egressing. Kopiev and Patelin uh, have now placed uh, the European robotic arm adapter that will be attached to a grapple fixture on the experiment airlock that is housed on the Rosfiat module for next Tuesday night spacewalk. And they'll be using uh, that Strela boom to basically uh, transport themselves and their equipment down to the work site of the Rosfiat module a moment or two from now. I'm holding the bundle. And uh, moving towards Strela. I'm hold hold it. Yes, I do. Uh, move to the right. Uh, are you holding the bundle? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, just move towards that side. Demating of uh, connectors and interface cables and the unlocking of launch locks holding uh, this heat dissipating radiator to the Rosfiat module. Rosfiat uh, has served as a docking port for visiting vehicles since it arrived at the International Space Station back in May of 2010. The process of uh, wire tying uh, a series of cables that uh, have held uh, these interface cables have held uh, the radiator to the Rosfiat module since it launched 13 years ago on back and about a little bit more than next up uh, will be the removal of a protective cover from the active attachment interface on the radiator that's uh, basically the attachment device that will uh, affix uh, the radiator to the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module to a passive attachment device on Naoka and you mean half by R2 correct Yes. All right, the MLI flap is secured with a small red. And I'm opening it. Copy. And half a pair too. Uh, I've got it. And as uh, the International Space Station moves into an orbital sunrise, the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module on the left, the Rosfiat module on the right, with Prokopiev and Patelin working uh, on the initial phase of the demating of a series of interface cables. Okay. All right, I have the pins pulled and Lirkas as well. Number six. All right, let's try number six. And then we'll see. And it's not budging. 
Могу на открытие попробовать. Let me try and open it. Да на открытие не надо. Нам только закрыть их надо. No, no, no. You don't need to try and open it. So you're checking only, you're verifying only um, the moment for to close uh, the uh, to close them. Okay. Uh, can you uh, take a look at the flap that was next to of a pair one? Is it the same? Uh, it looks like it. Uh, you know what? That was probably our mistake. Uh, this cover will not fit. It's for different purpose. Yes, it's the same. Okay. All right. Let's just secure it on top of the cover. The interface cables have uh, now been uh, demated uh, between the radiator and Rosfied. Next up will be the removal of a protective cover on the active attachment interface that ultimately uh, will affix uh, the radiator to the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. That will be followed by the uh, detachment and the unlocking of a series of four launch locks holding uh, the radiator in place to Rosfiat. You see now in the right side of your view the experiment airlock, that cylindrical object. That will be the focus of attention a week from tonight for its detachment from Rosfiat and its reattachment over to the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. To the next flat. Uh, I'm saying that uh, I did copy you type message tightly? Yeah. I will review yes. the note. Well, I can do it even tighter. Well, mine is secure. Okay, I cycled both cameras, so try again. It's your turn. This is Mission Control Houston, two hours, 36 minutes into the spacewalk. All of the uh, launch locks holding uh, the radiator in place okay, to the Rosfiat module on the Earth-facing side of the uh, Russian segment of the International Space Station. Those locks have now all been released. The radiator is free, although under the uh, grapple of the European robotic arm, the two cosmonauts will move into what is called the relocation viewing position well away from the radiator so that Andrei Fedyaev from a control panel inside Naoka can begin to slowly operate the arm and move the radiator away from Rosviet towards Naoka for its installation.
Theater now slowly moving away from Rosvia toward Naoka. Zero five. Okay, yes, I'm uh, monitoring it, and also uh, I can see, I can see the movement, and uh, the uh, EVA guys are also reporting the same. Copy. Minus point three. It's X coordinate. It's a historic moment. The new era of era. We have about one meter right now. The new era of era, as referred to in that uh, conversation, era standing for the acronym for European Robotic Arm which, uh, when fully extended, is about 31 feet in length, launched two years ago with Naoka, the multi-purpose laboratory module that is uh, in the process of now being outfitted for use. Did you copy Moscow, the task force is coming out? Copy. So the distance is about one meter. This EV operators are telling me, copy. to the uh, spacewalk, the radiator, having been detached from the Rosviet module, slowly being swung over to Naoka for its attachment to the multi-purpose laboratory module. As uh, Prokopiev and Patelin begin to install protective covers over the launch locks on Rosviet that held the radiator in place for the past 13 years. Nine, 1,000. Monitor it. And, yes, uh, Sergey is a little bit lower. Monitor the value as per the table. Copy. So the um, receiving end, female end of the connector. Let's o open the valve lower here, like below here. And I'll be right As we there. approach the three-hour mark in the uh, spacewalk, the two cosmonauts, Prokopiev and Patelin, are about to uh, install an adapter for the European robotic arm onto a comparable adapter on the Strela telescoping boom that will be used next Tuesday night to grapple a uh, grapple fixture on the experiment airlock that remains attached to the Rosviet module and which, like the radiator as we see in motion, will be uh, detached from Rosviet and moved over to the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module. Just a single joint move. Yes, Got it. yes it is. Shoulder your move, Andrei. Copy, the motion has started. And the shoulder, your uh, value is changing in the direction selected. Right, I am around error, adapter. Andrei Fedyaev operating the European robotic arm and slowly moving the radiator towards its attachment point will uh, configure uh, the radiator to a distance of about two and a half meters away from the attachment point. And then upon a go from uh, the Russian flight control team, will then inch the radiator into a position just a half a meter away and then to about one-tenth of a meter away 
before they uh, begin to complete the movement of the radiator towards its ultimate attachment. We're three hours, two minutes into the spacewalk. But I have very nice views from American cameras. I was monitoring the motion. Okay, right. Uh, but uh, unintelligible. Okay, so the motion has started. Unintelligible to the camera. that. Please stand by one. And give me a second and I'll take a few images. Thank you. And you can um, hand this uh, tether from the anchor to me. Hand it over. Sounds good. What a beauty. Okay, yes? Yeah, we had a very short dropout. I can copy you now. Did you remove the attachment point yet? Attachment point? Yes, on ERA adapter. Uh, yes, Andre, you did not remove. Did you take right a now, picture? So And a good view of the uh, radiator that's attached to the European robotic arm at the four hour mark into this evening's spacewalk, soon to be moved in ever so slowly to an attachment point on the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. That radiator is folded up like an accordion. It will be deployed, basically extended out, to provide cooling capability for Naoka during the third in this series of spacewalks on May 4th. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Now I'm attaching it. And here is the safety tether. Moscow Station, this is Ground 1. This is Andrei. Andrei. So, could you please report us what, uh, uh, you know, happened uh, to ASU MLM? Did you have any success, any joy? So, if you do not check, we can do the change out right now so that uh, it uh, won't uh, go off at uh, some all right, no. I have Unfortunate moment. the cable secured. Uh, yes, Andre, we give you a go to change out the battery. Change out the battery, Okay. We backed off to the safe zone. Copy. Good view of Sergei Prokopiev on the right, wearing the Orlan suit with the red stripes, Dmitry Patelin on the left. The two cosmonauts. We confirm it will be the transfer of the radiator to 1.5 meters from OSP on MLM. Copy, the motion has started. Could you please control the motion and uh, uh, as per the uh, table and the uh, so the uh, motion there. will be on two okay. coordinates Just F move away and from Z that, uh, coordinate. Okay. A copy, I In am the... observing the motion on those two coordinates. <laughs> Unintelligible. Dima is in the zone. With the uh, radiator cables having been mated to a patch panel on the uh, laboratory module, Andrei Fedyaev has uh, once again resumed operation of the European robotic arm to lower the radiator. From what distance he'll start? Dima Sergei, how copy? Yes, we are ready. Okay, so the motion will continue until it is Can just you half a meter left. towards you uh, the uh, anchor bundle? Copy. How can I do it? That's the problem. So I right will now have it to is return 1, for it. One meter is left. The distance is half a meter.
Station Moscow, Space Round 1 for Andrei. Go ahead on Space to Ground 1. Andrei, have you performed Step 13.2? Yeah, when you just performed uh, when you have a minute, you can point turn point. the uh, temperature regulator back on. And, and you can turn the helmet camera Copy. back on. You were asked to turn it off for five minutes because of the hot temperature. Yes. Have you made the screenshot? Yes, of course. Point 35, so uh, task 12 is complete. Okay, we... Stop motion, and the distance should be about 15 centimeters. Yes? Process of verifying no gaps between uh, the active attach mechanism on the radiator itself and the passive attach mechanism on the laboratory module. Once uh, that is confirmed, they'll start the process of final mechanical connections that uh, will permanently affix uh, the radiator to Naoka. Approaching the uh, six-hour mark, Andre Fedyaev uh, pushing in uh, the radiator to the attachment points on the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module, receiving uh, visual assistance on the fine-tuning of the guidance of the radiator into those slots from uh, Prokopiev and Patelin. Manual changes. No, it hasn't touched yet. And what's the clear, like what's the gap between OSP and USA? Station Moscow, Space Ground One, for Andrei. Go ahead. The gap is about I'm ready to three perform. meters. Yes. She's, it's not team. going to be smaller. Andrei, uh, you should there perform test fifteen. Indicating that uh, the alignment of the radiator into right. the, uh, Can you see the, uh, the final capture position is complete. That is verified by the two cosmonaut spacewalkers, Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patel. Okay. This is Mission Control Houston, six hours, 14 minutes into the spacewalk. Prokopiev and Patelin are in the process of hooking up uh, mechanical hydraulic, electrical lines between uh, the radiator, which has been uh, precisely aligned with its final attachment point on the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. Anticipated that this uh, would be a bit tedious, the installation of this uh, large radiator weighing almost 1,100 pounds in mass to the attachment point on the laboratory itself. That's the minimum gap and the movement by one centimeter. Arthur. Number five is Titan. So what we have left is number two and three. Era. Also it's the danger category. Shall we try? Watchdog failure. It is difficult to access from this side. There is a well, I need to access the wing nut. Can uh, move the wing nut? As we approach the uh, six and a half hour mark in the uh, spacewalk, Sergei Prokopiev 
and Dmitry Patelin continue final mechanical connections of the radiator to the attachment point on the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module. Andrei Fedyaev, uh, who has operated the European robotic arm throughout the course of the night, is uh, watching his two cosmonaut colleagues uh, continue work outside Prokopiev in the home stretch of the fourth spacewalk of his career, Patelin in the home stretch of the second spacewalk in his career. This is Mission Control Houston, six hours, 50 minutes into the spacewalk. Russian flight controllers uh, have uh, indicated to uh, the flight control team here at uh, Mission Control in Houston that the spacewalk uh, may last another hour to enable uh, Prokopiev and Patelin to complete the mechanical connection of the uh, radiator to the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module and then clean up uh, the work site and uh, return to the Poisk airlock. Uh, the entire auto sequence is in purple, and there is a message, error, danger, command rejected. Okay, acknowledge. And reset, reset, resetting. Okay, we got there. All right, and I'm securing it. This is Mission Control Houston. We've pa we have passed the seven-hour mark in uh, tonight's spacewalk. Now seven hours, two minutes into the spacewalk, and 13 years after being delivered to orbit on the STS-132 mission aboard the space shuttle Atlantis on the Rosviad module. The uh, radiator has now been mechanically connected to the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module, which will be its permanent home, providing cooling capability for that large laboratory module. All the mechanical, electrical, and hydraulic connections have been made. The radiator is now firmly in place, hard-mated to Naoka. Poisk module airlock, once again, uh, the spacewalk that began on Tuesday night has gone very smoothly, a bit slow at times uh, because of the uh, nature of all the, connection, the connections that have had to be made uh, between uh, the newly installed radiator and the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. But in the end, everything has been connected. The radiator is hard mated to the laboratory module. It will be uh, filled with uh, its coolant and deployed during the third spacewalk in the series of spacewalks to be conducted by these two cosmonauts on May 4th. Uh, the gloves are clean. You pe performed all the tasks. So, and the you were outside for seven hours, fifty-four minutes, and thirty seconds. Copy. Well, I can hear that you are very pleased and glad. Correction. Guys, it would be your personal record. The longest EVA was 8 hours, 24 minutes. Yeah, we have this one under our belt, belt as well. Yeah, that was Shkaplerov. For me. Well, guys, this is Mission Control Houston. The hatch is now closed to the Poisk airlock, marking uh, the official end of today's spacewalk at 4.35 a.m. Central Time, 5.35 a.m. Eastern Time for a 
spacewalk duration of seven hours, 55 minutes for Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin, marking this as the third longest spacewalk in Russian spacewalk history. 